Okay, what I want to explain now is how to engage a gear while you're stationary. Now with the Road Ranger gearbox, if you're stationary and your foot's off the clutch and you're in neutral, if I try to get into the gear right now, you're going to hear this. And the easiest way to explain that is if it's in neutral and your foot's off the clutch, the gears are, the gears are spinning. So what we need to do is get, and stop the gears from spinning so we can engage those gears without that grinding noise. And how we do that is by activating a clutch brake. Now some trucks have a button on the side of the gears, gear sticks, a hand operated clutch brake, but most commonly the clutch brake for trucks is when you push the clutch all the way into the floor. So I'm stationary, my foot's off the clutch, the gears are spinning right now. So to engage the clutch brake, I put my clutch all the way into the floor, hold it for about two or three seconds, that should stop the gears from spinning. I then should be able to engage a gear, but that one didn't actually go in properly, that one's not going in, that's not, oh, that one went in. So what's happened, I've actually stopped the gears from spinning, but some of them aren't lining up. So now how to get these gears to engage and line up is two methods. One is to move the truck a little bit. So if I was to take the brake off and just let that truck move a bit, you can then drop the gear in. So it's by moving, if you think of it, it's two parts of the gearbox. If you move those back wheels, you can then line up the gears. Now, if you're doing a driving test, you're not allowed to move the truck without in, uh, having a gear engaged. So the second method is the preferred method. And that's by moving this end of the gear, gear pattern, uh, the gear, the, the gear uh, cogs, so that they can line up. And that's by with the clutch. So I'll just start from the beginning again. Clutch brake is activated. I hold that for one, two, three seconds. If I actually just release the clutch now off the clutch brake, about an inch off the floor, it then should engage the gear, it went in nicely. Now if you find a gear, it should just drop in and out. You don't have to force it, you don't have to shove it. Um, it should just drop in the gear. And if it doesn't, it's because these gears are not lined up. So then what I do is just hold a bit of pressure on the gear stick, release the clutch until it just drops in. If it doesn't want to go in, I just release the clutch a little bit until the gear drops in. So I'm not shoving it, I'm not poking it, I'm just holding pressure on it and easing the clutch out a bit. And same goes for reverse. If it doesn't want to go in, I keep the pressure on, release the clutch until it engages. Now the most common mistake people make, and particularly the beginners, is they don't have the gear stick in the right pattern. So what happens, uh, just say I'm in between two gears and I'm trying to find, oh, I'm trying to find a gear and it's like, no, it's not going in. So I release the clutch, release the clutch. Oh, that's a bad example, I'll try again. There, they think they're holding it on the gear pattern. Release the clutch. Oh, that happened again. There, I think I've got a gear pattern. I release the clutch. Hang on, nothing's happening. It's because I'm actually in between two gears. So we have to find correct side of the H pattern before it engages into gear. Now, the, the, one of the main secrets is when you're stationary and you're trying to find a gear, don't rush. Just take your time. Don't force it. It will go in if you've got all your clutch brake engaged and then released, and you can just ease the clutch out and it should just find a gear. So when you hop into a new truck, before you go driving off the road, what I, what I recommend is you just to find where each gear is located. If you're finding where each gear is located while you're stationary, you're getting you familiar with the pattern, but you're also getting familiar with the clutch brake and where it engages. And you also start to get familiar with the friction point. So that's my tip. It's hard to explain that. 